If your dog has had one or more seizures and has been diagnosed with epilepsy, one of the first decisions you will have to make is when should you start treatment for epilepsy in dogs. It's simply not the case of starting medication as soon as a dog has had one seizure. Stay tuned to find out more. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Alex, the veterinarian behind rpetshealth.com, where my aim is to help you and your dog live a healthier, happier life. And if you've not seen my other videos on seizures and epilepsy in dogs, be sure to check them out after watching this one, of course. Now, I'll leave the links in the description down below. So, as I said at the beginning, a dog is not generally started on anti-seizure medication just because they have had a single seizure. The decision to start treatment is based on a number of things, including the diagnosis of why a dog is having seizures, epilepsy in this case, how bad the seizures are, and how long recovery takes. Also, how frequently the fits are occurring, and the perceived risk of a dog developing seizures that are repeated or very severe. And then finally, an owner's ability to live with a dog who is having seizures. But why don't we just start a dog on treatment as soon as they've had one seizure? Well. The reality is that it is not all that unusual for a dog to only have one or two seizures, which never then develop into a lifelong problem. Alternatively, a dog may only have one or two very short seizures a year, for which they recover very quickly and it's not really perceived to be a problem. So another key consideration is the fact that drugs and monitoring of those drugs and treatment cost money, which no one wants to waste, and all treatments come with a small risk of side effects. So starting treatment for epilepsy in dogs, it's very much a risk and a benefit analysis. On one hand, how likely a dog is to develop either severe seizures or frequent seizures, and on the other, the time, the cost, and the potential for side effects of that treatment. It's also worth mentioning at this stage that the goals of treatment, they're not necessarily to completely eliminate all seizures ever. Now, while that will be the case actually for a reasonable proportion of epileptic dogs, the dose or the number of drugs needed to obtain this for every epileptic dog will be very high in some individuals, and that makes the risk of serious side effects very high. So instead, we aim just to reduce the seizures to a more manageable frequency, to reduce their severity and reduce the risk of a dog dying as a result of having a seizure. Now, with these aims in mind, and knowing that a single seizure should not automatically mean a dog is started on anti-seizure medication, we also know that the earlier treatment is started, the better the outcome. Early treatment improves how well treatment actually works, it reduces drug resistance from developing, and that's a situation where an anti-seizure drug has no significant effect on a dog's seizures, and it also reduces the likelihood of hospitalisation or actually death due to frequent or severe seizures. So early treatment of epilepsy in dogs likely significantly improves both the quality of their life as well as the life expectancy of an epileptic dog. So here are the general guidelines. The treatment for epilepsy in dogs should be started if a dog has multiple seizures within a very short period of time, typically about three seizures in a 24 hour period. Treatment should be started if a dog develops status epilepticus, which is a state where a seizure is lasting for longer than five minutes. It's important though to try and measure exactly how long your dog's seizures are when they're having them because they're really scary to watch and can feel like they're lasting forever. But the reality is that the majority of epileptic dogs have seizures that last from somewhere between 30 seconds to two minutes. So five minutes is a very long time and is definitely emergency if that's the case. So even if the seizures are short and not rapidly recurring, if a dog has two or more seizures in a six month period, then treatment should be strongly considered. This will depend a little bit on the severity of seizures and the speed of recovery. One seizure a month should certainly trigger treatment to begin, but knowing, like I said before, that early treatment improves a dog's long-term prognosis, two or more seizures in a six-month period really is probably a better trigger to start that anti-seizure medication in the majority of epileptic dogs. And then the final trigger to starting treatment is if a dog takes a very long time to recover from a seizure, no matter how severe, or if there are any other concerns regarding their recovery. In most instances, a dog will be disorientated, they'll be tired to start with, but then actually steadily return to normal. If this isn't the case, then treatment is likely to be highly beneficial. So all of this being said, it is all a bit of a balancing act and the exact time to start the treatment should be made after discussion with your vet. And that takes into account the unique history, the circumstances, as well as your feelings as an individual, as a family, and how your dog is coping with being epileptic. 
Okay, so make sure you check out all my other videos to help you and your epileptic dog. Like this video if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'm Dr. Alex from Our Pets Health, because they're family. <laughs>